Africa, which is absolutely one of my favorite places on the planet. Here you've got gelato down pat. I was just deciding if I wanted to try something other than what I usually get, which is the toasted almond. I love combining flavors, too. And one of the things that's great about Frost Gelato, we're here early in the morning, so they've already put these out for this morning, but these will go very, very quickly today. And fresh pans of gelato come out constantly throughout the day. Nazario, the gelato maker who's from Bologna in Italy, is one of the true gelato masters in the entire world. And he's here in Tucson, Arizona at Frost Gelato. You can totally taste the master's touch in every single one of these. I think we need to stop here for just a second. Can I have a taste of the coconut, please? This is one of the yummy ones. And it goes really well with my favorite, the toasted almond. We're going to go try that later. and so creamy and it's so much better for you and guilt-free than a classic ice cream. Look at this right here. This will show you exactly how one ice cream cone serving has 280 calories. For that same amount you can get two cups of frost gelato. The amount of fat, one ice cream cone, you can have five cups of frost gelato in the same amount of fat. How many calories from fat? Well, it doesn't even compare. Tucson Lifestyle Magazine has claimed that Frost Gelato has been the best of Tucson for several years running. They've only been around for a couple of years, and in that short amount of time, they've made a huge impact. I wouldn't be surprised to see this chain going national sometime soon. In this section here, the sorbets, getting ready for the day. Now, the pans look a little empty now, but if you come in a little later in the day, they're all going to be full, like that gorgeous seasonal peach flavor is right now. All right, let's go back down and try the almond. Roasted almond, please. Mm. Toasty, nutty, sweet, rich, creamy, absolutely delicious, sophisticated. And the real fun comes when you take a great, clean flavor like that and you find something great to pair it with that's complimentary, like a peanut butter, or something that is an opposite flavor that balances and blends well, like banana. One of my favorite things to do is to get two-thirds roasted almond, one-third banana. You can't believe how good that combination is. But people like simple flavors too. Chocolate, vanilla, even the strawberry yogurt and cheesecake are delicious. The key here is to come with an open mind, a clean palate, and get a couple of these tasting spoons loaded up and find out what tastes best to you. The beauty of Frost is you could literally taste every single one of these flavors that's out here and decide which you like the best. But beware of palate fatigue. I suggest no more than three or four at one tasting because more than that you're going to get all confused. Keep it clean, keep it simple, and go for, well, let your imagination run wild.